Hello Scorpio and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Scorpio. We're looking at the 26th of August to the 1st of September. Your first message, we have number 13, energy. A light inside my fire divine. Energy fill me, make me shine. Let's see what we have as an Archangel Michael message. What do we have for Scorpio? Message for Scorpio for the week ahead. Message for Scorpio. Thank you. Number 39, you are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. So you're absolutely protected this week. You know, I feel that like that's probably your energy as well. But let's see what we have. What do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio for the week ahead. The Emperor. Could be you, could be someone who you're connecting to. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, King of Swords, The Moon, We have an Ace of Swords here, bottom two cards for you, the Two of Swords, and the Sun. This feels like uh, a liberation energy. Let's pull a card for Scorpio. Let's pull a card for the moon. Lack of clarity, uncertainty. moon. Yeah, the, the chariot. Beneath at the tower. Well, that's a combination. I mean, this is um, this is you're not sure if you can overcome or you're not sure that you want to go down a path again or you're not sure if there's any way forward here. Again, the, the tower, I mean, towers can be realizations here. So again, with the Ace of Swords as well, this can be a realization, a major realization that brings in significant change out of the old. Um, the tearing down of the old, you know. So uh, there's a level of doubt, uncertainty, um, powerful intuitive energy here associated with this situation here, but you're not sure if you, there's victory on this path. You're not sure if, you know, you can overcome the issues and difficulties between you and another person or party, um, because this is about something, there's either a realization happening here, you're suddenly realizing that and it could well be by someone's actions as well but it's like something happens here where you're just kind of like I'm not sure I I want to go down this path any further I'm not sure that there's any future here I, or I'm not sure that we can overcome the issues between us again if somebody else has done something 
Uh, so that could well be a truth, revelation, an event that happens, someone's actions. And the question is, um, the history that you've had to this point with this person or party, could be a number of people or person, the same energy applies. You're not sure if you want to go down that path anymore. Because again, there is that sense of guarded energy. You're giving your energy and time to people who are positive for you but this is about a reluctance and a questioning whether you want to give your energy to a person or party that that doesn't serve your highest good anymore i think that you're seeing the truth again king of swords can also be somebody who is involved in this situation or could be advising you in some way because the, the emperor and Again, you could be seeing the truth. I mean, th I, this just feels like your energy. You're suddenly seeing the truth. Rose-tinted glasses have come off. You're seeing the truth for what it is or dealing with the truth. And that allows you to make the right choice for you and take control of a situation. And deal with something that you might have let go before. Sometimes we let things go. We let things fall under the bridge. We say, okay, let's move on from this situation. But this time, I think that you're making a stance. You're taking control of a situation here and taking a stand. That you're not putting up with something anymore or something isn't for you. You don't see that way forward anymore. You're taking a stance. Because again, the Three of Swords can be about painful truths, third party situations, breakups, um, It can also be somebody who has caused you emotional pain or seeing the truth might cause emotional pain to another person or party or it might cause upset, but you're doing what's right for you. It's being in truth in terms of what you need to do now. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. And you're being told as you do that, you are protected within your bubble of lights. You know, certainly the Archangel Michael card, you are being protected. But I think that you're something it doesn't feel that there's a way forward here for you the ace of swords seen again dealing with the truth or seeing the truth of a situation here is bringing some clarity to you that it looks like there's no way forward but that's a very positive thing for you the sun is light after dark it's illumination and for the for the best possible highest good uh, but the Two of Swords is, 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 is like a blocked energy. Um, it can sometimes be th the clarity that you're getting is, is not to go down that path, is to be guarded, is to, you know, not, not go down that path anymore. And that's what I, it's a stuck energy. But that's what your <laughs> spirit is kind of saying, that's a good thing. I mean, you could be dealing with, uh, again, however this manifests for you, there's either a powerful realization this week that is aligning you in truth to the new path. And sometimes we cut cords with things that are not serving our highest good. You know, for others of you, it could well be something's happened. And again, given the history that you've had with a person or party, this time you're dealing with it. This time you're taking a stance and you're bringing, you're making a healthy choice and decision that aligns you with a brand new path, and likely cutting cords with you, with with seeing a path, with also a, an existing path that you don't see any future on. It feels like aligning to a new path in truth, and likely cutting cords with something that doesn't serve your highest good. Now listen, Scorpio, you could be dealing with an energy vampire. You could be dealing with, again, it could be a love romantic thing. It could well be to do with um, a work situation. Again, a brand new path is opening up for you here. It's a card of victory, triumph, success. But it's linked with that is a truth, aligning with a path in truth that allows you to break free of something that doesn't serve your highest good. Um and something that you've already had history with. It could be a group of friends. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it, however that manifests, it could be a work scenario. But I think that there's, a, I mean, this feels like for a lot of you, a powerful realization that there's no future on a path that you're on. For whatever reason. 
and you're you're making clear decisions that it's not healthy to pursue a path anymore and spirit is agreeing with you in fact spirit is kind of saying now because you're not going down that path any longer i can light this new path for you that is full of potential and possibility and more authentic to you because you're seeing the truth of a situation here this is guarding your energy and giving your energy to what matters likely this new path your truth and not to something else, actually cutting cords with someone or something else that's not serving your highest good. Let's pull Let's pull a, a message from the angels and ancestors for you, Scorpio. Just shuffle. What do we have for Scorpio, Angel Spirits Guides, for the week ahead? Big energies. But a lot of this, I think that you've already realized. I think that now it's just the how you go about it, you know? Uh, the plan, the strategy, the clarity of thinking, the forward movement, the decisiveness. Could be someone's helping you. But the King of Swords is, does the right thing. We can all manifest as court cards in general readings. What do we have? For Scorpio. Shaman, trust in higher forces. Again, there's that you are protected energy. And we have warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. So let's see what we have for you. Warrior energy. I'm going to read the warrior card. Because I think that you are standing up for yourself, taking a stand. You could also be doing it in response to defending and protecting someone else as well. We have, don't back down. Make your opinions heard. Don't settle for second best. If you're experiencing fear at this time, know that this means whatever is going on, is important to you. Whenever you feel fear, you're on the verge of something big, perhaps a massive breakthrough that is going to really help you move forward. If you have a situation on your hands where you have to face someone or something that's been unsettling you, know that you are being guided to call upon your inner warrior. Don't falter, don't be frightened, because you have the energy to protect yourself now and at all times. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.